Hello everybody and welcome to episode 14 of Glory Hunter with Nice. Today we take on Marseille in the derby as we reach the halfway point in the League 1 season. Let's take a look at the result we've had uh, since we've last been together against Toulouse. Where we did not to lose to Toulouse, as Reese Nelson scored the only goal of the game. Wasn't a very good game, to be brutally honest. But hey, when you want to win the title, you've got to win games like this. So to round up the competition screen, so Borg, Perinas are our opposition in the ninth round of the French Cup in the Champions League. We are currently 18th on 10 points with two games left to play in League 1. We are four points clear of Paris Saint-Germain, but they have played a game more. They played last night. We play this afternoon. Can we respond? Hopefully so against Marseille. We don't have a great record against them, but hopefully that will turn today. Let's take a look. So here are the two starting lineups as Lebrovich starts in goal for us. Scali, Pedder, Tragusin, Odogi, Anana, Luis, Carboni, Smith Rowe, Nelson with Jackson leading the line. As Marseille start with Canant in goal. Gillette, Derive, Ibanez, Salas, Duarte, Adin, Napan, Almeida, Morea with Balogun leading the line. Now derby days are always special. Can we pick up a win in this one to get the lead back at the top? to seven five would be okay seven would be wonderful obviously at this time of the season we are at the halfway point and we just need to keep psg at arm's length which they are at the moment to be fair with four points but i would rather they be further away to be brutally honest let's see what we can do come on manager shaking hands robbie Keane and i shaking hands always good saw him in an airport once on our way back from Madrid in the Champions League final. We don't talk about the Champions League final, though, uh, that year, unfortunately. But it was nice to meet Robbie King and his son, to be fair. Lots of legends walking around at that time of the morning. David Howells as well, if you remember him. If you're old enough to remember David Howells. He has been retired for quite some time. As Pedder's got the ball. Plays it on to Anana. Looks for Joe Scally. On the right, driving forward inside the first 30 seconds. Nicholas Jackson nearly gets there. Are they going to get it away? They do with Napan. And it is an early corner. Reese Nelson with it. Let's find a teammate, please. From the corner. Been very few and far between lately as Patrick Pinnock gets the header on goal. First goal for Nice. In the derby of all places. Patrick Pedder with the header. Hey, that rhymes. Why have I never realised that? On loan from Atletico. And he is the man that puts us in front. Oh, captain, my captain. Good man. Almeida with the free kick. Marseille behind early. Adin trying to chase after that. Pedder whacks it clear. But it's up rather than out, really. I mean, that should have been halfway line if he had whack it clear. As Jackson puts pressure on the goalkeeper, who's miles out. But Gillette picks it up and drives forward. Into Balogun. Round the corner for Napan. Dogi there with him and Dragusin taps it away. Napan once more, playing it across. Carboni picks it up. Loose ball and he's giving it away. Almeida, very scrappy early doors. Almeida drives into the penalty area, drives them level. Very sloppy mistakes going on there, weren't there? Carboni, the man punished. And Almeida, you don't need to give him a second invitation to drive into the penalty area. As two former Atletico Madrid players are on the score sheet early doors. He skips away from Tragusin. And oh, the problem is he gets his hand to it. Just not enough. Nelson with the corner. Another near post routine. Perhaps ball in towards that near post. This time they head it away. But it's only as far as Emil Smith Rowe. Back to Nelson. Onto Smith Rowe again. Drive it through the crowd, Emil. Tragusin will. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. Radu. Honestly, Salas with the throw into Ibanez. Boo, Roger Ibanez. Don't like him. Almeida through. That's it. Win the ball back. Anana into Jackson. Looking early for Smith Rowe. The ball wasn't there for him, really. Derive 
onto Napan. Trying to go beyond the Dodi. Hard work if you can do it, but he does play it beyond him. Didn't go beyond him. As Gordan plays it into the penalty area. Balogun puts Marseille in front. Okay, fair enough. We have gone from being a goal up to being 2-1 down inside 20 minutes. And I don't really know what we do wrong here. Other than not blocking the cross. But what's the defending like in the centre? I mean, he's got a run on the pair of them in the centre. Not good enough. Berate them? I think you're going to have to, aren't you? As Gillette dives inside the penalty here. Luis with a good challenge. He's still chasing after him. <laughs> Look out. Adin with the shot from distance is blocked. Can we pick up the loose ball with Carboni? We can. It is going one way, then the other at the moment. It's a really good game of football breaking out. Inside, up the line. I mean, do something with it, Patrick, for goodness sake. Just dilly-dallying. Now closing us down pretty well at the moment, to be fair. Tragusi. On towards Luis. Find an out ball. There we go with the Mill Swift run. Needs a runner. And Nicholas Jackson is that runner. Is he offside? He could save from the goalkeeper. Yep, flag has gone up. Scally with the throw. Throws it on Smith Rowe into Carboni. Plays it through looking for Nelson. He's got the run on the defender and it's just over the top. Unlucky. The pan picking it up inside the penalty area. Ball in towards the back stick. Scally's not there. Morea picks it up. Scally tries to dive in. It's a poor challenge. And it's headed away and Smithrow will pick it up. But he's got nobody to play it to, really. No, absolutely no one in front of him, really. Nicholas Jackson just running away from him at the moment. As it's all gone a bit wrong in the first half. It started well enough, but we have fallen behind. But we are going to move on to positive because we have the ball. And that is the most important thing. Nicholas Jackson is coming off at half time. Darwin Nunez is coming on for him back from injury show me something else in the second half absolutely we need an equalizer at least please we just need to keep the pressure up and find this equalizer because they've not really done anything Marseille since they scored the second goal as Carboni has the ball plays it back into Scali goes early looking for Darwin Nunez but it's headed behind for an early corner in the second half bit of encouragement on the field I guess so as Nelson's going to pick that up, is he? He's going to drive inside. It's the wrong thing to do. He should have gone up the line. That's where the space was. Scully tries to pick it up. Morea beats him to it. Almeida. Can we find a ball into the area? We will. And there's a man unmarked, but he's put it wide. Whew. That is a let off. Right, we're going to make a change at right back. Joe Scully is not having the best of the afternoons, is he? So Van der Breek is going to come on for him. And we're going to take off. Carboni and bring on Arabas to switch to a winger role and let's see what we can do still got plenty of time in the game that's one thing I am sure about but time can drift away very quickly especially when you keep giving the ball away You're not making it easy for yourselves today Balogun with the shot but he oh it's deflected okay didn't look like it deflected it just looked like a very bad shot for a second there's a Marseille corner just coming up to the hour. Almeida with it. Ball into the area towards the back post. And Smith Rowe is the man that heads it up. But Balogun will get on it and puts it over the bar again. Can't keep giving them clear-cut chances like that, though. They will bury one of them. And then it will be game over. Arabas with the free kick. Plays it short into Nelson. Plays it onto Smith Rowe. Arabas has got plenty of space. Finds the ball to Darwin Nunez, who is offside. Surely. I mean, he looked like he was miles off. Maybe only fractionally. Okay. Trotting back to the centre circle. And the goal has been disallowed. So back into position, please. Yeah, he did go too early. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I tell you what. Who's playing him on? There was nobody near him. Unless it was from the first contact. But I've forgotten the offside rule now. The thing is so ambiguous these days. Van der Breet plays it into Smith Rowe across into Luis but Almeida is the man that pinches it we do keep it alive Nelson plays it on to Van der Breet drives inside the penalty and Morea comes back to help and gets it clear but we are getting it back 
faster than I can get rid of it. Nelson down, but we're hiding for a corner though. Let's do that with 23 minutes to play. Luis Nelson, tank is empty. Do we bring on Luani or do we tank bring on Musa Diaby? Let's bring on Musa Diaby. Switch those two around. Does that work better? Like that? I like that. I feel like I'm at the opticians. Let's just see what we can do in the final 23 minutes. Smith Rowe has got the ball. Back to Ogdogi. On towards Luis. Into Dragusin. Dragusin. On towards Luis again. Through to Nelson. Can he find a ball into the area? He can find Darwin Nunes. He puts it wide. Offside flag up again. It's Reese Nelson's last touch. Musa Diaby onto the field. As Arabas has the free kick. He looks towards Smith Rowe. He gets the header on goal. And it just goes over the top. Right. We're going to bring on Opendia. Who for at this point? It's going to be for Luis. For Opendia. And then we're going to put Smith Rowe back into centre midfield. Yes, that kind of works. Well, it works better than it probably should do. Let's see what we can do. Final 20 minutes. Let's start to pass it a little bit longer. I'm not panicking, honestly. I am a little bit. Let's move the defensive line higher. Let's keep them boxed in. On towards Smith Row, round the corner. Yeah, looking for Darwin Nunez. Ibanez intercepts it though. Salas with the ball. In towards Adin. On towards Derive. Gillette up the line for Morea. Oh! Musa Diaby! What have you... Why? Why would you do that? Oh, well. Bang goes our chances of getting back into it. We're going to have to move down to... Well, we might as well stay on to positive, actually. Yeah. What is he doing? He's only been on... How long did he come... How long was he on? Six... He was on six minutes, seven minutes. And he's... Well, he's done me dirty there, hasn't he? Honestly, we had them. We could have got ourselves an equaliser. Now, forget it. Oh, so annoying when people do that. No need to dive in. I get it. Get stuck in, he's on. But it was a forwards challenge. And... He didn't need to make it. We might have one more chance, but I think he's just going to blow the whistle, isn't he? Dragusin. On towards Ogdogi. I mean, it's got to go. Ball in towards Darwin Nunez. Can he win the header? He cannot. And that is full time. Marseille win it by two goals to one. We had them. We had them right where we wanted them. With 15 minutes to play. And then Moussa Diaby. Well... Wow throws it all away so the gap will remain at four going into the winter break and that is probably the last time you will see Musa Diaby if I'm brutally honest and I kid you not his agent has asked why he's not starting more games do I need to answer that probably not so what we are going to do we are going to make our way towards the end of January and we will take on Chelsea in the final group game of the Champions League with Paris Saint-Germain peering over the horizon. It's going to be an interesting couple of episodes coming up. So we'll take on Ford Perias, Sporting Lisbon and Brest. And hopefully we'll have done some transfers. Obviously I mentioned Moussa Diaby right at the end. I think he will be moved on in January, at least out on loan. But there will be a couple of others as well as we tinker with the squad as we get ready for the final push towards this final trophy that we need to win to complete the set. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.